All right, with Halloween approaching, I know you guys want some Halloween content. Well, eh, you're going to have to settle for this. I watched this movie, Terrifier. This is an All Hallows Eve spinoff. This is this anthology little uh, film put together. And, okay, so it's a little indie pick. All right, I got you. And it's picked up by Dread Central. You know, how bad could this get? The answer, pretty damn bad. This was one of the worst horror films I've seen in a while. It looks awful. The color grading is... It's that, hey, we can't decide if this is trying to be 70s or what. We have reddish tones in the black levels. The uh, rest of it just looks like cheap video. I'll give you this. Your central antagonist here, Art the Clown, not a bad makeup. You maybe have seen pictures of this before, and I think that's the appealing thing here, is that you have a decent-looking villain. Yeah, he's got this, like, very weird black lips and, and dyed teeth and, and a, a weird grimace to him and some kind of weird Jewish nose, a tiny little top hat, you know, perched on top of his head, and he's got this clown outfit, and clowns are scary, and hey, we gotta try to get this thing out there, you know, because everybody's into them clowns now that we have uh, the the it is being made and all. And yeah, I mean, this kind of like comes out, it says here March 2018, but it was at Telluride, October 2016. But you know, they're doing this to try to get in on the it stuff. In some capacity, so hey, let's do, let's do uh, a bigger movie about the All Hallows Eve guy. Yeah, what kind of amazing story do we have for you? Well, we start off with this weird. Hey, we got this lady. She was the lone survivor from last year's attack, and it's like okay. Um, I guess now we know what's going to happen. Because the the story's all over the place. With this gal's like her face has been melted, it appears, and she's doing this interview on TV. Afterwards, the gal interviewing her uh, kind of says some snide comments in the dressing room. She overhears this and attacks her, and rips her face apart, and starts laughing. But we have somebody watching this, and I guess it's Art the Clown. And then it's like a year, a year earlier. So, uh, what are is, are people just too incompetent to write something that makes sense anymore? Is it just too much to ask? Is it too, is it too much effort that needs to be put into this, or does it just not matter anymore? Hey, look, you're showing up for the gore. That's what it is. Uh, yeah, the story doesn't make any sense at, at all. We got these two stupid drunk chicks. Walking down the street, I guess it's Halloween, they have their little costumes on, they're in their 20s, uh, they can't drive back because they're drunk or some garbage, and they go to some diner, there's this clown that comes in, he kind of hits on one of them, she rejects him, he shows up later, kills a guy, there's goofy effects, like I said, the video looks cheap. There's an excessive amount of blood, so those of you who are all into that are going to get it, because there's plenty of blood here. Now, aside from the character design, I will give you this in the fact that there, there is some interesting shock value and one decent surprise. So, uh, the, the girls get separated or something, the blonde chick gets abducted, the, the brunette... She's calling her sister to come pick her up, and she's like, oh, I'm busy, I'm a good girl, and I'm studying and stuff, but people are making out my room, so yeah, I guess I'll go pick you up. How the hell far does she have to drive? So, uh, I guess I'd say main brunette chick. She's walking around, she has to go pee, but they're, they say, oh, look, there's a creepy guy over there, I guess he's fumigating this house, whatnot. Uh, why don't we ask if you can go into that apartment complex? And he's like, okay, fine, I'll let you in. Rickety, not up to code bathroom she goes into. And she gets lost on the way out and, and comes across Art the Clown. And he's chasing her and, and he's attacking people. He attacks 
uh, all, all the stuff, beats her some, then has her tied to a chair, has the blonde girl upside down, topless, and they don't look that good, and then slices through her, starting, like, bifurcates her vag first, and yeah, it's a, it's a gruesome, gory thing, but it's also done in such a schlocky way that it doesn't seem frightening as much as a funny, gory type film, which I never really saw the appeal of, oh, let's make it stupid gory. Because then it's not funny and it's not scary, it's just stupid. Stupid is the line between funny and scary. Yeah, that's some knowledge for you guys. This is part of why horror is the worst genre, because you end up striking out way more than you get a home run. Like you can get home runs far more frequently in a drama, comedy, action than you can in horror. Action, you know, action's starting to look like the new horror, to be honest with you, the way shit's going there. I mean, you can hardly even get an action film in theaters anymore. But anyways, yeah, so Blonde Girl's dead. Brunette chick runs around. I started falling asleep. I had to watch this parts of this. I had to watch this in three installments because I was just getting bored out of my mind over the lack of shit going on. There's a crazy cat lady who talks to a, a doll for no reason walking around in the place too. She gets attacked, apparently has her boobs cut off, and then Art the Clown wears her around. And yeah, it's just like, hey, what kind of gruesome stuff can we do to some women here? All right, sure. Yeah, cut her boobs off and wear them. So you're going to have to deal with that. Now, at one point, I found this the most surprising bit. The gal gets the jump on Art. She stabs him something, doesn't finish him. And she's running away, and he pulls out a gun and shoots her. And I'm like, whoa, we have a slasher killer who uses a gun. Is this a first? Like, is it possible that... Somebody at some point got a shotgun in, in one movie, but just, yeah, I, hey, I've got a surprise pistol, boom. Then shoots her in the face, kills her. I'm not really too shocked by that. I'm just surprised the guy had a gun on him. So, yeah, she's done, and now our new final girl is the gal, the sister coming to pick her up. She discovers all this shit. Actually, you know what? She might have been the one that saw the crazy cat lady's boobs on them but like it even matters these are not really characters these are just figures here to be tormented by the clown in a loose structurally leaking plot that it only gets worse so she gets attacked by him and they're going around in circles and it's boring as shit and then at one point, he hits her with a truck that he got from the... He had to re-kill the, the, uh, what, the guy poisoning the rats in the place. The, and takes his truck, runs her over, and then like starts eating her face. The cops show up, and they shoot him, and then she's barely alive and hanging on. So now we know... We know whose face got mutilated and all this stuff from the beginning, right? And now it's weird because they they couldn't even get like anything that looked like a morgue. So the paramedics or EMTs, whatever, they take the two bodies to the morgue, right? And the lights start going off and flickering. But it turns out she's still alive, but barely. What did her soul get get transferred arts come over into her not explained you know now now we have a weird supernatural thing out of nowhere we have a room that doesn't look anything like a morgue we have a we have her then being rehabilitated and leaving a hospital that doesn't look like a hospital instead it looks like a dilapidated old college building where they were probably were were able to shoot one scene for 10 minutes like, God damn it. it. Yeah, I mean, I don't think that Art the Clown is a compelling enough character, really, to even give this a star and a half. Like, frankly, this blows. It has, what, like a 67% on Rotten Tomatoes? 
because people are incredibly stupid and they hire dumb people to review movies. Yeah, Terrifier, one out of four stars.